So here we have a motorized version of the 42177 Mercedes G Wagon 500 something. I don't know the exact name, but anyway, I took this set that uh, Milan designed and I tried to pack it with as much functionality as possible. So let's start from the basic functions. So the most basic function, of course, is that this thing drives and steers. When it comes to driving, uh, I kept the two-speed gearbox. Currently, it's in the neutral mode. And if we check under the hood, in the neutral mode, it's driving the fake engine, but it's in no gear. That's why it's not going anywhere. I'm using a powered up L motor for the gearbox, which allows us intelligent control of the gearbox. So we have a low position, neutral position and a high position. Now I'm going to put it in the low position and the model drives slowly. Now it's back to neutral and now I'm going to put it in high position and it goes a bit faster. It should go around 2.8 times faster in the higher position than in the low position. So in high position it's faster, but in low position it has torque. Talk about torque. We also need a way to transfer the torque to all wheels. Now the original model has independent suspension in the front and uh, live axle in the back. I kept the same functionality. The only thing I did was I slightly reinforced the front suspension because of the, all the additional weight I put in the front. By additional weight, I mean there is a one powered up L motor for the gearbox, another powered up L motor hidden inside here for the steering, and two powered up M motors here, the white ones, which are used for the differential locking. So with the original model, you had an ability to lock the differentials manually, the central differential here in the console, and the rear, for the rear differential, you had to go under the rear axle to lock it. Well, no longer, because I motorized both functions. So this locks the central differential, and now it's unlocked. And the same is with the rear differential. So we can lock it, you see how it goes in, and then unlock it. Of course, uh, this model also has a, a live axle suspension in the back and independent suspension in the front. So we have motorized drive, motorized, gear, motorized gearbox, motorized front differential, motorized rear differential, and steering. That's five motors. And because I had one port left free, I also put some working LED lights in it. Thanks to the transparent bars here, I'm able to basically shine the lights through. And this is one of the most, let's say, motorized, most functional modifications I ever did. It has basically everything is motorized and I'm really happy how it turned out. And yes, there was a question why I'm not using two drive motors. Well, the thing is, I have one drive motor here and on the other side we have a boobies unit. I could theoretically place another drive motor here and the boobies unit in the back, but then I would have problems with the cabling because the cables wouldn't be long enough to transfer the power from the motors all the way here to the boot. And I really wanted to keep uh, the interior space as free as possible. Uh, one more thing to, worth to mention, because the boobies is placed right here by the driver's uh, driver's rear side doors. It's very easy to access the power button and to charge it. All in all, uh, I think it took me around 12 hours to get this thing to just to build and of course probably something like that to make a digital version of the model. So it was a lot of effort, like I literally finished it yesterday, but I think it's well worth it. And if you also appreciate the effort uh, I put into this model and all the functionality, then please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you and see you out there. Drag race between the Buwis modified G500 versus the original Porsche. Ready, set, go! go. It's a G-Wagon, what do you expect? But it's almost as fast as the Porsche. Yeah. So it's around four kilometers an hour, let's say something like that, four and a half. 
Well, it was not built to be fast, unlike the Porsche, which is built to be fast. Yep. And this one only uses one motor for driving, for everything. Mm -hmm. And this is almost 3,000 parts compared to so it's less much than 1, heavier. Yeah, and also, heavier. it's less aerodynamic. Oh, yeah, that really that's really matters. That's really matters. Yeah, of course. <laughs>